In the previous video we made an animation of a bouncing ball. Um, yours may vary slightly. What we want to do in this really short video is to show you how to render a sequence of images. In order to do this in Maya, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pop up here to our um, render um, um, option. So we're going to click on the render, eye, um, render view picture. And then if you just click on there, you should be able to render that picture. You'll see it's black because we don't actually have, if you've just finished the previous tutorial, we haven't actually created a light source in there. So um, let's do that. Um, you might want to also add a plane here. I didn't have that in the previous video. So just add a plane so it's got something to bounce off. Um, then what we can do is, once we've got all that into place, we can um, add a light. So we'll just come in here into Arnold and we'll add a sky dome because it's a simple light source. And then if I render a single frame like this, you can see that ball there. And you can see that if I pop over to a different frame like this one here and I render that, you should see that we've rendered that frame as well. So the goal here is for us to get Maya to automatically render each of these frames for us into a folder so that we end up with a whole bunch of image files in that folder. Then once that's done, we can use another piece of software like um, Windows Movie Maker or QuickTime or potentially um, um, something like After Effects or Premiere to create that um, video from those image, say, Im those different um, single image files. So how do we get Maya to do that rendering? Well, to do that, what we need to do is we need to go into our render settings, which we can get through here, or we can go straight into it up by clicking up here. And in your render settings, you're going to see that there's a number of different settings we can choose from there. First thing we're going to do is choose an image format that's more likely to be used in um, those other softwares. So let's choose either Ping or JPEG. I'm going to go with ping. Format, we can ignore most of these things here, but a really important one is this one, frame animation extension. If you don't change this to something which has this hash in it, which will put a frame number next to it, then it can only do a single frame. You notice these two first ones here are single frames. If you leave it at the default, like this one, then you'll notice that down here, when we get down to frame range, we can't change anything. And when we try to render, we'll never be able to render a sequence. So what we do is we come in here and we choose one of these. It doesn't matter which one of these we choose. It's just the way it's going to put the file name out. I quite like this one or this one. So this will have a file name with an underscore and then a ha where the hash is it'll be replaced with the frame number like one, two, three, four and so on. Um, frame padding is how many trailing zeros there are before um, the, the frame number. So if there were a, uh, so the first one will be zero, 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 one and then zero, 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 two. Whereas if you make the frame padding one, it won't put a, a zero before it. Um, we can use a custom extension if we want. Um, we'll just leave it as defaults all there. Then we come down to frame range here, and we're going to change that from frame 1, and the last frame is frame 50. Um, and also, it's also worth just quickly popping down here and having a look at your output size. Um, just check, is this the size you want your animation to be output as? If that's correct, then you're good to go. So once you've got all those things done, click um, close there. And then it's really just as simple now. Uh, it's just simply a matter of going into the render menu here and then going down to render sequence. If you like, you can pop up in the render options. There's a few extra options there. You can choose the output folder if you want. Um, if you don't choose an output folder, that's fine. It'll just go into the Maya folder, which will be in your documents folder if you're on a Mac, or it'll be um, in um, somewhere else if you're on a PC. So now we can just go render sequence. And what should happen now is we should see that Maya will go through and it will start doing a whole bunch of renders. You can see them happening in the background here. And it, it'll tell you down in the lower left hand corner which frame it's currently rendering. So this is frame six, frame seven, frame eight. And if you look carefully, it's a bit hard to see uh, for the first few frames, but each frame is slightly different to the previous frame. Eventually it will go through and it will render all 50 frames. Okay, so now we've skipped ahead and we're done with the rendering. All 50 frames have been done and we can see the final frame um, here. 
So what we're going to do now is um, we need just we're going to have a folder with those files all in it, um, and all we need to do is um, I can probably navigate to those through here. You can see I've got that folder there, and it's got all of those files in there, and they're all numbered with the uh, padding um, number padding uh, zeros before it and they're all ping files, right? So if we had a look at each of these files individually, you'll see that each one of them is a slightly different frame from the animation. And if we were able to put them all together, we can turn them into a video. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next video.